All right, Capricorn. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter, Capricorn. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that surround us. So it is. So this is going to be what's the key for the sign of Capricorn for February 2nd through the 9th for Capricorn. Single jumping cards only will be taken in my reading. Spirit, you already know how I roll. So what is the key for the sign of Capricorn? Five cards, please. Single jumping cards only. So we have ain't shit. Okay, so if we deal with someone who just ain't shit. We have girl fight, um, arguments, physical fight, at war, and competing. What else? Someone may be rolling their eyes as well, or someone may like to roll their eyes. We have carless, no car, repo, and car issues. So someone here may be carless or experiencing some type of car issues. I don't know, this wanted to flip, but bad reputation, prickly. Someone here may have a bad reputation. Maybe for putting people in competition, this person may not, you know, they All right, what else? We have threatening, intimidating, threatening, threatened and bothered. So someone here may be, I hope no one's threatening someone, but someone may be intimidated or bothered by you or vice versa. Someone may feel threatened, okay, especially if there's a girl fight here. We have love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, and nostalgic. Player on the bottom of the deck. This card's been coming out for a lot of signs. But um, it's on the bottom of the deck for you guys. So I don't know if someone here is dealing with the player. You could be a player. I don't know. But there is some type of competition or, you know, maybe feminines or masculine. Flip the rules according to your situation. Someone here may be competing or fighting over someone. Someone may be intimidated by someone. Okay. So let's see. Someone may also have car issues or not. Maybe they don't have a car. Why is ain't shoot here? For Capricorn, why is ain't shit? Try not to say it, but so we have ooh, dang, King of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's my Capricorn card too. So okay, someone here is uh ungrounded, unstable, not loyal, uncommittal. This person could even be corrupt. Okay, this person is you know has commitment issues. This could be a corrupt business person or gold digger or someone who like, you know, uh, overspends, can't manage their money. Um, this could even talk about extortion. Yikes. All right. So let's keep going. Why is ancient here for Capricorn? Five of Pentacles. Wow. Um... And lovers reverse. So Gemini energy, there could be a soulmate connection or disharmony within some type of a union here. Um, maybe because someone here is not loyal, they're non-committal, they're not trustworthy. Someone here is feeling left out in the cold or leaving someone else out in the cold, abandoning, abandoning a situation. Okay, again, change in circumstances, change in finances. Someone here may be experiencing health problems, financial problems. Uh, disharmony, uh, lack of accountability within a within a situation here because of somebody's lack of you know commitment, lack of honesty, lack of loyalty. The hermit, someone's getting ghosted. All right, someone's someone's isolating themselves. Virgo energy. Um, or someone's getting ghosted. Someone's also doing some type of self reflecting with this hermit. Give me one more. On an eight shit. So maybe you guys are realizing here that someone just ain't shit. Something that you've probably invested a lot of time, or maybe you've been waiting for someone to invest time, energy, resources into a situation, but this person may be broke or they have financial problems. They could be out in the cold. This person is they got financial problems. They there's disharmony here. There's lack of commitment, there's lack of honesty. There could even be some type of corruption here or someone experiencing health problems. Um, 
Uh, this could be someone with abandonment issues and maybe they lack, you know, they're afraid of commitment or something. Maybe, you know, okay. Show me girl fight. Why is girl fight here? Arguments, physical fight at war and competing. Why is girl fight here for Capricorn, please? Y'all be sure to hit that like button if this reading is resonating with you guys. It helps me out a lot and it helps this message get out to others who need to view it. So show me girl fight. Why is girl fight here for Capricorn? All right, why is girl fight here? Yeah, five of swords. So there's some underhanded malicious behavior, bullying, gossip, gaslighting, rumors, um, maybe surrounding this emperor, this father figure, this boss energy, this Aries, okay? So this could be someone in a leadership role, position of authority, somebody who's, you know, uh, the authority figure, but there's... Girl fight, and then the Five of Swords literally talks about fighting, malicious behavior, underhanded behavior, gossiping, lying, bullying, intimidating, okay, gaslighting, and it's surrounding this emperor, okay? So this could be two women fighting over a masculine, maybe someone in a high position, a position of power and authority, someone who's a leader, a boss, okay? This could even be about a father. Did I already say that? I feel like I did. Show me girl fight. Girl fight. Three of Cups. Yeah. This is definitely a third party. So this Emperor may got <laughs> girls at, at, at war with one another. Or women, whatever. Tell me more about this girl fight, please. So that could be why Capricorn, I don't know if you're one of the feminines here, because you do have this King of Pentacles in the reverse. This person may be a boss. This could be a baby's father, a father figure, or just someone who's, you know, some type of high ranking or stability or a business owner or something. I don't know if they're a business owner, but this is like, to me, I'm getting more like fatherly vibes or somebody who has some type of authority and then some... Even this masculine could be the one that's being malicious with this five of swords, like gaslighting, putting these women up against each other. Because we do have a masculine energy over here who ain't shit. All right. Lacks commitment. There's disharmony within a, within a union. The lover's card can also talk about choices in love. Okay. I feel like someone's waiting for someone to invest into a situation, but they're not. Or they don't have anything to invest into it. Show me girl, girl fight for Capricorn. Page of Swords, so Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, there could be some type of delayed news, someone's trying to manifest or trying to get some type of information about a situation, someone may be spying, looking in, um, trying to figure something out here with this Page of Swords, you know, Page of Swords also talks about don't get drawn into arguments, okay, having some type of mental agility, um, being protective, being vigilant, watching your back, Okay, so yeah, two of swords reverse. So that, you know, I feel like you or whoever I'm reading for, I don't know. Two of swords reverse talks about clarity. There could be an end to this, some type of delay here. You may have found, went looking and found out some type of information. You started to see the truth of a situation. Some type of lies could have been exposed. You're taking off the rose colored glasses. You know, but you may have, you know, you're looking into a situation. Some of you guys may realize that this masculine is like controlling, is, you know, is controlling or is uh, non-committal. That this person's like putting two people up against one another. And you're starting to see the truth of a situation. Show me Carlos for Capricorn. Why is Carlos here for Capricorn, please? Why is Carlos here for Capricorn?
Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords. This is making me feel like someone here is uh, being greedy. Nine of Cups can also talk about being a little bit selfish when it comes to getting what you want, especially with the Seven of Swords next to it. It's like someone here is like being sneaky, deceiving, lying, cheating, stealing, you know, to feed their own needs, to feed their own selfish needs. So somebody may be experiencing car problems, car issues, getting their car repoed because someone here is a liar, someone here is a cheat, they're a con artist, they steal. Um, this person may have um, multiple lovers. Yeah, and the moon fell on the floor in the reverse. So some secrets here may be getting exposed about this. Yeah, there's some secrets. There's something here that's coming to the light about Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. We have Aries here, Virgo maybe. Show me Carlos. Somebody's fear, I, don't, I just heard this. Someone's fears may be coming to fruition. Whatever that means. Like if someone had some type of fear, or worry, or anxiety or something, that may be, and I seen that magician earlier, someone's like worst fears may be like transpiring into reality. Show me Carlos, Knight of Cups. Okay, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone may be wanting to apologize or be very romantic and very charming. What is this? If someone's trying to, um, <laughs> um, let me see. Let me see if this is what I think it was. Oh, shit. Yes, it was. Okay, so this King of Swords was going to go in the reverse until it fell on the floor. I was going to say, if someone's trying to come in and be very romantic and charming and offer you some type of new beginning in love, it's a lie. And that's what I see. Well, I was thinking that and then this flew out and it was in the reverse. It's a lie. It's deceptive. It's it's manipulative. Someone's trying to abuse their power and their authority by being charming, loving. In order to get what they want. Someone here has secrets. There, there's 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 things that are hidden here. I feel like you may know the truth about some things, but maybe not the whole truth. You may know that someone here has another lover. Or they, they're entertaining someone else, but I don't feel like you know the whole truth behind like the, this person's manipulation. It could be about the gossip because the King of Swords in the reverse too could talk about like malicious gossip, lies, slandering, um, being irrational. Show me threatening, intimidating, intimidating, threatened, and bothered. So yeah, I feel like you know, I know, I feel like you know that there's someone else, but I don't feel like you know that, like, say if this person's been gossiping and talking bad about you to the other person, putting the other person up against you. I don't feel like, you may know that there's someone else, like the moon card reverse and the lovers. It's like, you may know that someone has somebody else or another option or another love interest or whatever, or is entertaining someone's strength in reverse. Someone here lacks courage and strength. They lack willpower. They can't hold back. Okay. Lack of confidence, low self-esteem, self-doubt, vulnerability. Okay. So this person is threatened because uh, they lack the, they have issues, whatever. Okay. You know, so this person manipulates, they spread lies, rumors, gossip, this is somebody who's like a father figure or a boss or someone who's like in a high ranking leadership. This could, even if they're not, this could be someone who's older. The emperor, you know, is like someone who's older. But I feel like this person uses like their, either their, like their, their status um, or something to like, which I really feel like their status ain't shit with this king of pentacles in the reverse, five of pentacles, lovers reverse. It's like this person, uh, 
with this king of pentacles in the reverse next to the lovers in the reverse this could be like literally extorts a king of pentacles in the reverse can talk about extortion with the lovers in the reverse it's like i don't know if someone like extorts people or like uses people for money or like extortion King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in the upright. Tell me more about threatening. Leo energy is here. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And Seven of Swords again. In the world, this could be someone at a distance, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's some type of deception, some type of lies. There's also some type of truth here. Somebody here may be speaking the truth about some type of lies, Queen of Swords. Somebody may be speaking the truth about some type of lies, maybe about a water sign or or or, or about this masculine or whatever. I don't know. Someone here is speaking the truth about some type of lies. Yeah, some about about some secrets or things that are hidden here. Someone's, someone's, okay, so someone may be threatening somebody that they will tell their secrets to somebody who they love, King of Cups. Wow. Show me love on the brain. Daydreaming, fantasizing, nostalgic. Why is love on the brain here for Capricorn? Why is love on the brain here for Capricorn? Nine of Pentacles. Stable, self-sufficient. Someone's stressed out about someone's like independence, stability. Someone may be stressing and worrying if someone here is single or not as well. Someone may be feeling overloaded or burdened, stressed out. Three of Swords. Yeah, someone's feeling heartbroken, weighed down, maybe wanting to heal some type of third-party heartbreak. But someone here is confused. They have other options. Someone here has, there's third-party energy. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Um... Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Hmm. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors, but I feel like someone's like ancestors or angels, archangels are watching over this situation. And someone here is like very stable, single, self-sufficient. Someone here may work a lot or could be a little bit stressed out, but someone here is, someone's finances are being healed. And someone else is being burdened, stressed out, weighed down by all these options, feeling heartbroken. But someone's like daydreaming, fantasizing about love. Someone could be single, but has a lot of options. Someone may be still stressed. Someone may be trying to heal from some type of third party stress and burdens you know something that's weighing them down or some type of baggage that someone's holding on to about a third party about something that was really confusing someone's trying to heal that and someone may be just staying single give me one more on this love on the brain Ten of Pentacles. Like, so someone may be dreaming of like family, marriage. I feel like this is more money, like love on the brain. So this is giving me the energy of like somebody who's um Someone who's doing very well financially, creating a business, creating a life for themselves, doing very well when it comes to their finances and their stability, they're, they're patient, they're healing, uh, 
But again, somebody may be being plagued by, like, someone may be, like, love on the brain. Somebody may be thinking about, like, um, how do I say this? Like, when you think about, <sighs> love on the brain. So if someone's like thinking about like love, I feel like it's not good memories. Like three of swords, seven of cups, ten of wands. Like it stresses someone out to think about love. It confuses the fuck out of them. It's like that it's, it seems confusing. It's, it's like not happy memories. And I feel like someone's just choosing to be single and remain balanced and focus on their, on themselves, on their pentacles, on their finances, or, you know, the more things that they can control, because I think love, like it's kind of tainted for somebody to be honest. This could even be this emperor over here. Like me, I don't know. I'm not going to say that because it goes both ways. I was going to say this could be this emperor like doing very well financially, but has a lot of options, a lot of stress, a lot of burdens, a lot of obligations, third parties and other bullshit going on. But then over here with this king of pentacles, five of pentacles and the hermit, I don't know, is somebody like ghosting a situation or are you the one that's like ghosting this person who is not loyal, not committal, non-trustworthy? Someone who could be like extorting you or using you, putting you up against other other people. I feel like you you went looking and you found out some type of information or you found you heard some type of rumors or some type of gossip or something surrounding this emperor, this father figure or, you know, um, someone may be coming in to offer you something and come in very sweet, like I offer you a new beginning of love, but it's a lie. Okay. There's some, you know that someone here has some type of secret surrounding another person, another lover, and someone's only coming in to get what they want. Nine of Cups, Seven of Swords. This person lacks willpower. They lack strength. They can't hold back. Okay. Oh, yeah. And this Queen of Swords may be coming in to speak some type of truth about this deception. So maybe whoever this girl fight is, maybe, maybe these two girls that were fighting and at war, maybe this, this, maybe one of the girls like said, like told, told the truth about something about what the deception was. And that gave you clarity. It's like you went looking for information. You found it. So you see the truth of a situation. Now you're just choosing to be single, stable and heal because this love fucking triangle bullshit stresses you out. Maybe you were dreaming and fantasizing about what it could have been, but it's not. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped, give you clarity in any way, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button, uh, show me some support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.